The yeast here, or leaven, is false doctrine, as in beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. The woman is the wicked woman that we see throughout Scripture, culminating with the seductress in Revelation chapter uh, 17 and 18, but also represented by Jesus typologically um, by the woman Jezebel in the book of Revelation and the letters to the seven churches, particularly Thyatira and so forth. We see this. Now, she takes the leaven and puts it into three pecks of flour. My friend Otto Fruchtebaum has an interesting explanation that a number of evangelicals have traditionally ascribed to or subscribed to. That false religion seduces Christianity broadly defined. That is the Western Church, the Latin Church, the Greek Orthodox Church, and mainstream Protestantism. So you've got the Protestant Church, as it were, that came from the Reformation. We have the Eastern Orthodox Churches, the Byzantine traditions and so forth, and the Western Latin Church, that is the Roman Catholic Church. All three are permeated by leaven and spiritually seduced. That is a view that was held by some of the early Plymouth Brethren, some of the early Pentecostals, and it's a view with which I personally would not disagree. Leaven is indeed, in this context, a figure of false doctrine. It is also, of course, related to spiritual pride. Leaven puffs up. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. It's the seductress, the woman, putting leaven into the cage. Now, the idea of it is this. If you put it in flour, that's not to say all the flour is leaven. There are true things in what Roman Catholicism says. There are some true things in what mainstream Protestantism says. There are some true things in what Eastern Orthodoxy says. There's flour. But it is permeated with leaven. Once the leaven is in, you can't get it out of the cake. Be careful of people who say, well, there's some truth in it. Well, yeah, there is. Try taking the leaven out of the cake. It just doesn't work. The true people of God will have understood the importance of how to beware of the living, how to beware of spiritual seduction. This is my best understanding of that particular passage. I would point you, however, to our broader teachings on the subject of leaven from 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and elsewhere. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. 
how the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Parpezzo, Parpezzo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.